Hi guys, it's Kay Pilashano and welcome back to my channel. So for today, we have a special vlog. So I've just realized that I don't have a Melbourne tour. As most of you know, I am actually leaving Melbourne in a few weeks. So by November, I'm in the Philippines. And I just want to share with you what Melbourne looks like. And it's a perfect day to go on a trip as well because it's 18 degrees. So it's not cold, it's not warm. So it's a perfect weather for today. So, samahan niyo ako! Let's go! Hopefully, naririnig nyo ako. Melbourne, Victoria hasn't lifted its restrictions for lockdown. So hopefully, mga pupuntahan natin ay open or at least meron tayong mapuntahan. So nakamask pa kami. We're just actually going on the tram stop at the moment. So samahan nyo. Guys, nandito na tayo sa my tram stop. And oh, you can actually take the city circle from here. So yung city circle is a free tourist tram for Melbourne tourists. Um, alam ko wala masyadong tourists at the moment but it's still going and it's actually gonna pass by in a little while so it goes around a loop around the Melbourne um, tourist attraction so it's all free of charge so you don't have to pay anything which is really really cool so yeah and here comes the city circle tram guys it's an old tram that goes around on the loop around the CBD area you can hop on and hop off as much as you want to So guys, we are here na sa Burke Street. So this is Burke Street Mall. Dito yung Meyer and David Jones and this is the H&M. So this used to be so busy. Like you will see so many people around. Pero since the lockdown, wala na. Wala nang tao. Pero hopefully Melbourne will bounce back soon. Kasi from what I've heard, by Thursday, restrictions will lift. So anyway, papunta tayo sa Flinders Street at the moment. So you guys can see Flinders Street. So dun tayo sa kabilang tram sasakay. So let's go. So we're here at the Grey Street. This used to be so busy. Mga cafes restaurants but look how empty it is right now kasi nga sobrang tagal na naka lockdown ng Melbourne so hopefully pag lift na mga restrictions busy na ulit ang city so yes this is the Grey Street so guys eto malapit na tayo sa my Flinders Street so Flinders Street is an iconic building here in Melbourne sobrang ganda niya sa gabi kasi it's all lit up So yes guys, this is Flinders Street Station and like I said kanina, sobrang ganda niya when it's all lit up at night and then pag mayroong mga events, um, may theme din yung mga lights niya. So very iconic yung mga photos from here. I'm pretty sure meron ako solo photo here and meron na rin kami ni Latina. So guys, this is sa corner na to, parang you're gonna take three boxes already. Mag-picture ka sa Flinders Street Station across the road, which is this one here. And then, tatawid ka para yung background mo naman is this one here. Which is the St. Paul Cathedral. And then, pagtawid mo naman, Federation Square, which is another iconic place here in Melbourne. So, those three tourist attractions, you've ticked three boxes already. Kasi nga, sabi ko, like, everything is so close together. And karamihan nga sa kanila, nandun lang sa mga free tram zones. You don't have to pay for your transportation. And ang babayaran mo lang is your food. And you're all sorted for the day. So, that's why I love Melbourne. Kasi, um, if you want to be a city girl, you can be a city girl. And then, if you want to explore outside you can go to regional victoria and it's like new zealand so sobrang ganda guys sobrang ganda ng araw i don't think i've seen melbourne this sunny and so nice in a very long time pero sobrang perfect ng araw natin ng pag film so at the moment we're on our way to hosier lane kasi isa pa yon sa mga iconic places to go to siguro nakita niyo na yon sa City na kasi dun sila nag up ni John in 2019. So ang Hosier Lane is a laneway which is full of graffiti. Yeah. So putahan na. So guys, here we are at Hosier Lane. And that's the City Circle Town. I told you guys, umiikot lang siya on the loop. Dadaanan niya rin to. So here comes Hosier Lane. If you find the right spot, you'll get the perfect photo here. So. Actually, let's try na mag-picture today para meron naman tayong pang Instagram, di ba? Nakayayain natin si Kuya mo pa-picture tayo. This is the spot that I've picked. And ito yung pinicture ni Kuya sa akin. Pak! Thank you, Kuya, for taking that photo. Ang hirap mag-isa, guys. Walang taga-picture. Hindi makuha-kuha yung angle. Tapos isa lang yung pinicture ni Kuya. Pinakita ko lang sa inyo na sobrang ganda niya sa photos. 
and yes, after this one, we'll go to Federation Square, so you'll see more of Melbourne. Let's go! So guys, we are here at Federation Square. That's Eureka Tower, and then the bagong building na mas mataas. So, welcome to Federation Square! puntahan natin ay Shrine of Remembrance. Actually, don't know if you can go up there at the moment, pero puntahan pa rin natin. Anyway, tingnan natin kung ano pa ang ma-explore natin sa most lockdown city in the world at the moment, which used to be the most livable city in the world. Pero, like I said, hopefully mag-bounce back na siya in a few months. Para pagbalik natin, it's lively. Just yeah. there, guys, across the road is the National Gallery of Victoria. Puntahan na nga rin natin. So, yung pupuntahan natin now is NGV. Doon ako at saka si Christine um, umatay ng Melbourne Fashion Week with John. Alam nyo guys, sa sobrang gusto kong ikutin ng Melbourne today, feeling ko hanggang Shine of Remembrance, malalakad ko today. Anyway, so this is NGV. Tawid tayo sa Royal Botanic Gardens and feeling ko talaga malalakad ko hanggang Shine of Remembrance. This probably looks familiar sa inyo guys kasi ito rin yung way ko papunta ng work. <laughs> so papunta tayo na ng Shrine of Remembrance. Medyo malapit-lapit na siya. Ngayon ko lang na-realize na na-miss ko rin palang mag-ikot sa Melbourne. Kasi nga we've been in lockdown for so long. Today may counting freedom so we'll make the most out of it since maganda rin naman yung weather. So eh na malapit na. I can see the Shrine of Remembrance from here. I think the doors are closed anyway. But... So guys, this is the Shrine of Remembrance. It's a war memorial. This is where they commemorate like the Australian and New Zealand um, soldiers who fought during the war. So the Omeron pa siyang mga memorabilia. And then sa tuktok niya, sa taas, you can actually see the whole of the CBD there. It's a closer look of um, the Shrine of Remembrance. And it's making me a bit emotional because this is one of, her, of the first few places that I visited when I was in Melbourne and I've completely fallen in love with Melbourne and the first time that I was here. Aww. So yeah! So yeah guys, we have photos and videos here together when we first visited um, Australia. So guys, this is the view from the Shrine of Remembrance. As you can imagine, mas maganda siya sa taas, but since close yung mga doors, hindi natin siya mapupuntahan. But look at that view. So yun guys, doing this Melbourne day tour or Melbourne in the day got me a bit emotional kasi parang for me, Melbourne is home and it always will be a home for me. And yeah, I just realized na parang I'm leaving Melbourne in a state that it's not like the place that I've fallen in love with and hopefully pagbalik ko in a few months it has bounced back <laughs> and it's lively and I wish I can share it with you pagbalik ko na sana ko ano yung place na inabutan ko back in 2015 ganun siya ulit I know it's gonna take a while but I'm hoping I'm really hoping na it'll be back to what it was before COVID. I know it's not just Melbourne, I know it's everywhere else, pero sabi ko nga, it's my home, and yeah. So, I think this vlog, I'm doing this for myself, so I have memories um, to look back to, kasi I just realized I don't have much videos of Melbourne, and I have photo stories, ganyan, but like I don't have videos of um, what I've gone through here. Sorry if this vlog is all over the place. It's gonna be probably raw as, as raw as it could be. Because I gusto ko na parang this vlog will have like a special place in my heart. Because Melbourne has a special place in my heart. So yes. that is Melbourne in a day for you. And I hope you still enjoyed it. Kahit hindi masyadong madami yung nakita niyo sa vlog na to. I wish I could have shown you more. And hopefully, mabalik na ang um, Melbourne sa dati and the rest of the world. So I will see you guys on my next vlog. Bye! Bye!